As I said in the previous video, here is my implementation for the LMX 2820 programmer and synthesizer. Inside, there is an FR4 board like this one. And we will see in the sequence that as, as the output of the chip is very close to the output connector, there is practically no substantial power loss in the output path. One nice thing about the LMX2820 is that you can disable the output, no output power, without messing with the other parameters. And I have implemented this function in this programmer, this button over here, on and off. Considering it's a very condensed package, I included a heatsink, as we can see here. This connector is for the reference frequency. This other one is for the serial interface. And this last one here is for the power input. In this case, 5 volts, as there is a low noise 3.3 volts regulator inside the, the package. In the graphic I am about to show, we can see that the power output of this unit in the upper range is pretty good. This is the setup for measuring power up output for frequencies up to 18 gigahertz. Here is my power supply, the programmer, the 100 megahertz reference, low phase noise, high stability. This is my spectrum analyzer, and here is the LMX 2820. Let me focus so you can see a little bit better. Programmer and reference. And here the synthesizer. Here is the setup to measure the power output for frequencies above 18 gigahertz. The local oscillator. 20 dB amplifier This is the mixer This is the device under test the LMX2820 And this is my spectrum analyzer Maximum frequency is 18 gigahertz. And here we have the power supply for all the modules. This white cable here comes from my 10 megahertz high stability low phase noise reference and these two outputs here are 100 megahertz high stability references for the PLLs. The DUT at this very moment is generating 22 gigahertz.